What's the guys and welcome back to Software Knowledge Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Warzone 2, 2.0, whatever the fuck you want to call it, the reloaded version. Now obviously there's a lot of updates that came out which is the new map and then also a lot of small updates that Call of Duty Reloaded has brought out. Now a lot of people are experiencing stutters in the game, FPS loss, micro stutters, screen tearing, black screen errors, the game crashes to the desktop, the... FPS in your game is really low when the plane starts. As the game starts, the plane comes up and you do about, I don't know, 10 FPS. And then when you jump out of the plane, you're about to hit the ground to open your parachute, you get micro stutters. Now, I went to go ahead and jump out of the plane almost like two, 300 fucking times last night just to address these issues and to show you what you need to do to fix these problems. Now, if this actually works for you, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to me to channel for your new year. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of clips that I recorded with specific settings, and I'll have it in the timeline or the timestamps, and I'll also have it on screen as well. Let's jump straight into it, and let me also show you the best settings you can use right now for Warzone 2 Season 2 Reloaded. <laughs> Survive and your team can redeploy. Eliminate targets to bring them back faster. 
There's a drop point for your squad, soldier. Target spotted. Alright ladies and gentlemen, as you could see, that was every single upscaling in the game and I recorded that last night and it took me a lot of time and dedication to do that. So please, for the love of fuck, leave a like and a comment down below if this actually worked for you. Number one, I want to go over this. The very first upscaling, which was the Intel version, is for people out there that's running really good machines, okay? So if you're running a mid-tier to a high-end machine, like a really good CPU, really good RAM, really good GPU, I highly recommend that you use the first upscaling, which is the Intel version. It makes the game look like a triple a title game okay the rest of the upscalings inside the game what it will do is it will give you sharpness but it will give you more fps those are for people out there that is in need of fps then go ahead and choose one of those just go through the ones in my video see how much fps that's very important look at the fps and then look at the quality of the game with every single upscaling i just showed you now that you just watched look at them I basically show you what I'm using, I basically show you the settings I'm using, and the FPS I'm doing, so please choose one there that will be the best for your machine. I'm running a 9700K, an RTX 2060 OC, and 16 gigs of RAM, and every single thing has been overclocked. Alright, so now to get to the sweet spot of Call of Duty's config file, where you basically can get up to 30 FPS more just by changing this one option. Alright, so you're going to go to your file explorer like this, go to Documents, go to Call of Duty, go to Players, 
and then go to this file over here. Now, something I just want to point out before I get inside this config file. My FPS, while I was recording, I was using GeForce Experience to record those recordings. Okay, so it does eat a little bit of FPS. So if I was doing, let's say, 190 in the plane, normally I would do 200 to 210 to 230 FPS in the plane. Okay, or my FPS in general when I was landing on the ground would be like 110, 120, 130, 140, just plus another 20 or 30 FPS on top of that because my GeForce experience does eat FPS. You are not going to be recording while you are playing your game. You are just going to be playing your game. So just put that on top of what you just watched. You will get 10, 20 to 30 FPS more than what I was getting if you have a machine like mine or better. So let's jump into those options over here. Open this up with any notepad or any editing software and scroll all the way down. Okay, now render a work account is something that people don't ever explain. They'll just tell you half your cores or put your total cores here. Okay, now this is the thing. The reason why people are saying to half your cores or to put your total cores inside here is because Call of Duty is a complete fuck up. It is a completely fucked up game, and that's just it, okay? The developers don't care about the community. They don't care about the Call of Duty community. They don't care about us, the people that's playing this game right now. They don't care about us. They honestly fucking don't, okay? So this is why you're watching people like me and other people on YouTube making videos, trying to help the Call of Duty community in general, because we play Call of Duty and we would love to run our game perfectly fine. There's people out there that has way better machines than mine, and they are running about 80 fps inside the plane when they land they do even lower fps like under 60. that is a shit show then there's people out there that's running lower end machines than me that's doing better fps than me so yeah welcome to call of duty warzone 2. welcome to it all right before i jump into the setting over here i just want to thank every single person on my youtube that's become a member on my youtube channel it really means a lot to me every single one of you that's inside here it really really means a lot that you are supporting my youtube channel you guys are fucking awesome you guys are the best fucking chads ever i fucking love you guys and I would appreciate it if I get more members out there to see exclusive content and also just in general to support my channel. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Okay, so something I want to explain is this. I have eight cores and eight threads. I have a 9700K, all right? It has eight cores, eight total cores and eight threads. So you're not going to put your threads inside here. You're going to put your total cores inside here. Now, I'm going to explain this, okay? Halving my cores, okay? That's what common people are saying. Halving your cores can give you more FPS. It depends on your CPU. If it's a Ryzen, if it is a Intel. It's also going to depend on if it does hyper-threading or not, okay? So, if I put this at 4, what it's going to do is it's not going to use all of my cores while I'm playing. If it needs to start using all of my cores, it will start grabbing the rest of the cores itself, okay? But... If I put it at 8 and I put it at its total cores, it will use every single core available to my machine that my game can grab. Okay? Right now, at this very moment, I have mine at 8 and mine runs perfectly fine. That's the total cores of my CPU. So if you have your total cores here and your game does more FPS than what it does in half, then go with your total cores. If you want to go half and you do more FPS, then go half. Okay? Half your cores inside here. That's all you need to do. So either half or total cores, test your game, because I've been testing this game for you guys to see what's going to be the best for you guys. I'm trying to explain my best. I mean, it took me so long just to do this one video, okay? So all you need to do here, this is all you need to do. Test out your game with half your cores, play the game, check your FPS, then restart your shaders, restart everything, and come in here before you jump back into another game and put your total cores inside here. So either half or either your total cores, okay? And you should be good to go. So then you're just going to go to file, you go to save, and you close out of this completely and close out of this completely. Then for people out there that's using NVIDIA graphics cards like me, all you're going to need to do is right click on your desktop and open up NVIDIA control panel. And then this is what we're going to need to do. If you haven't seen this already, please go ahead and do this. Adjust image settings with preview. You're going to click on this and have this at use the advanced 3D image settings and click on take me there. It's basically just going to take you to manage 3D settings. And a lot of people has asked me in my comments. I'm just going to basically ignore it because I keep saying it in my video. I don't go to program settings and change Call of Duty itself. I go to global settings because the reason why I use global settings is it makes every single game I play much better. 
So all you're going to need to do is copy all of my settings inside here. That's all you need to do. Just pause my video, copy every single setting inside here, and it plays a very big role on the settings I was showing you. Basically, the gameplay, the FPS, the upscaling, all of these plays a very big role inside those settings as well. Okay, so shader cache, 100 gigs always. Please go ahead and change that if you haven't done that already. Prefer maximum performance on the power management mode and then high performance on the quality. Trust me, this will make your game run much, much better. It will run smoother, and this 100 gigs won't give you any stuttering in your game. For instance, when you're parachuting, or when you're landing, and stuff like that. A lot of people don't really explain what these things do. I've done this in most of my videos, so I'm not going to go over all of them again, all right? Threaded optimization plays a very big role. Please go ahead and put this on if you have this option. Please go ahead and put this on. And then something I just want to point out is this over here, the low latency mode. If you click on this and you only have ultra, put it on ultra. If you only have ultra, don't have it off. But if you have the on option and you have ultra, you're going to need to play around with them. I have it on on with my specific machine and it runs perfectly fine. Once you're done with this, you're going to say apply and you're going to go to config surround and physics, select this and select your dedicated graphics card you're currently running right now, not your CPU, not auto select. So it goes between your CPU and your GPU. You don't want it to do that while you're playing your games. Go with your dedicated graphics card, apply this. And from here, you're going to go to adjust desktop color settings and you're going to come inside here. Now, instead of using the video filters, which can actually decrease FPS inside your game, you're going to come inside here. OK, you can basically play around with this or you can copy my settings as is. I have minus 65 on the contrast to make my game look a little bit more pop and it makes the game look really good. And especially this one here, it makes the game pop a lot. I have mine at 95 percent. If I go to image three over here and I pull this all the way down, your screen should go black and white. All right, so you're going to pull this all the way up to your sweet spot for your specific monitor, your specific display, like a laptop or whatever. Go ahead and choose your personal preference. Mine is 95 and it's always been 95 when I play Call of Duty. All right, you're going to apply these settings. Once these settings are applied, all right, so something that plays a very, very big role inside this game as well is this over here. You're going to go to start, go to settings, and you're going to come over here. All right, you're going to go to privacy. And you're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to go to background apps and make sure you have this off. Please go ahead and turn every single one of these things off. If you're on Windows 10, it's very easy to do. You just go from this to that. And all of these things won't run in the background and use resources like your RAM, your CPU and some of your VRAM. So please go ahead and turn this off. If you're on Windows 11, trust me, it's much much more difficult and much more complicated because you're going to have to disable them individually but trust me it's worth doing it if you want to know how to do that just go google it it's very fucking easy to do i'm not going to explain that right now because i'm going to make this video way too long once you're done with that and you have your background apps off you're going to click on the home page you're going to click on gaming and you're going to click on game mode and you're going to have this on it does make the game run a little bit smoother so i highly recommend that you have game mode selected and have it on from here you're going to go to graphic settings and then have hardware accelerated g you scheduling off have every single game you have inside here you, it's fine if you have other games in there do not i repeat do not have call of duty warzone 2 inside here or modern warfare 2 if you have it all you're going to need to do is just click on it and then at the right hand side it will say remove okay that's all you need to do once you're done with all of this you're going to restart your game restart your pc jump into the game ladies and gentlemen if this worked for you leave a like leave a comment subscribe to me to the channel if you are new here and as always ladies and gentlemen i'm just here to help the warzone community as best i can and peace